uncle Shannon Sharp had a very astute take on the whole matter that I wholeheartedly agree with that I'm going to play for you here. So here's Uncle Shannon Sharp talking about the flipping response to Kyrie Irving, the things he says and the stuff in the media. And then we're going to continue. I don't speak for everybody in the black community, but let me tell you why some of the black people are rallying behind Kyrie and Kanye. It says that because when blacks have a misstep, it seems like we suffer the harshest penalties. It seems like other groups offend blacks okay. and they never suffer the penalty that Kyrie and Kanye have suffered. It seems like to us, a lot of us, not all, a lot, some of us, a large portion of us is that black are bound by shackles. We're held more accountable for our actions and our words where our counterparts are with cobwebs. They're easily brushed aside. Shannon, he apologized. He or she said they were sorry. Amen. Why can't we get the same benefit of the doubt? Amen. Kyrie was wrong. Amen. But I believe Kyrie was wrong. But Hallelujah. I also can believe the punishment was excessive. Hallelujah. After what President Trump has said about the American Jews versus the, uh, the Israeli Jews and what he's tweeted and what he's posted and he ain't got canceled yet. So exactly. don't give me that, that if this would have happened, if that would have happened, because we've seen in instances when they have done things, they never been canceled. Exactly. And that's what we do. They look and they cancel us. No questions asked. There's not enough apology. Kyrie can get on his bending knee. He can come to the people in the most humble way he know how. Bow head, humble heart and bent knee. And that's still not enough for some. And you know what, right? This really does speak to the thing that some people say, which I don't necessarily agree with. But some people do say you should never apologize. And I don't really agree with that sort of sentiment. I think if you upset certain people, if you say something and you didn't mean it to come out hateful or you didn't intend it to be hurtful or you didn't know it affect a certain group of people, whatever it may be, I think there should be an apology, especially if you don't mean it. But the issue with apologizing in the cancel culture world is that for the most part, if you know as much as i don't believe cancer culture exists because i think in general especially nowadays if you're a prominent figure if you've got your own thing going on it's impossible to get cancelled because if you have fans they're always going to back you it's not like you require you you basically rely on the institution or corporations to hold you up and prop you up you've got your own fan base that's going to ride with you so you don't you never really get cancelled in a real in, in a real sense of the word but the process the the actual thing with cancellation nowadays it feels like is that it's less about education and clarity and it's actually about cancellation you made one mistake one one misstep that we didn't like and now it's over for you there is no redemption there is no um forgiveness there is no way back it's always you got cancelled and that's it and it's ridiculous because in our everyday life we all make mistakes